Hey, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Slay the Princess. I don't know what to expect from this. I'm not really a horror game person, but that might change in the future. I don't know what this game is about, but I'm enjoying the 60 seconds game, uh, for, as you can see from my previous videos. And I like the whole choices and story mode stuff, and uh, I think this is kind of the same. It's Slay the Princess, so I'm thinking to myself, maybe it is somewhat like how you would usually save the princess. Instead, we must kill her. But let's see what awaits us, because this has a rating of overwhelming positivity. So let's see, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good, I don't know. But I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Like, comment down below if you've played it, and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's go! I don't know what to expect. I don't know if, like, uh, I am in the right spot. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Cabin and in the woods. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? Can I press space? You're here okay. to slay Thank her. God. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, so, explore. The end of the world. What are you talking about? So this is us talking to the narrator, I think. Explore. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Explore. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Oh, there's more? Oh my god, there's so much more. In that case, uh, can someone else do it? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Uh, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Uh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Uh, sweet! I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la re revolution! Si silently continue the, to the cabin, turn around and leave. What happens if we turn around and leave immediately? Like, let's see. Like, will the game just end? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Oh, we're still busy. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and slay the princess. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't, I guess. We'll see. Like, yes, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope! <laughs> The only thing that matters is where I'm not going, the cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. Uh, I realize the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. And <laughs> quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Nope! I just love the word nope. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Okay. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Huh? That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How the convenient. Cabinet. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Okay, wait. I kind of listened and I kind of didn't. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. So, the world can be saved if we go and slay her, but I'm guessing there's more to the story. Okay, okay, I'm going into the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again and leave again. Nah, That's it's just gonna go full circle constantly. You bring that fiery attitude to princess slaying. I think this will all resolve splendidly. Okay. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Fortunately, okay. she's only a princess, whereas you are a valiant and talented warrior. It'll be easy, so long as you stay focused. And my first choice was to turn around and not go to the cabin, so... Valiant warrior. I'm guessing you're a, a liar. We can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess. 
We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ah, there's you. Anyway. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Boom. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Question, why is uh, there a cabin with the princess? Who put her there and why is there a knife? And that's the only thing there is. There's no microwave, no chairs, no chimney for, uh, to make a fire, nothing like that. Literally a random uh, table and knife. Someone planted this shit for me to come and just do this shit. Explore, take the blade into the basement. No, screw that. We're taking the blade. Table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I I wonder, is this going to be a very short, straightforward game? Or is there like a lot of... There's probably so many other possibilities. But is this... If I choose the logical thing every time, how long is this going to take? Time to go to the... I would never... I would never fucking do this. Creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Ancient wood? The princess really lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Bruh! Her voice carries up the stairs. But she's not going up the stairs, or is she? Who's there? Uh, my name's Jeff. She sounds <laughs> dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Voice of the Euro. That's me. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> in on you hey i think i'm here to kill you uh continue on serious what do you guys think hey <laughs> i think i'm here to kill you <laughs> why not oh are you now are you why sure that's how she said it? Take a look at you. it are you sure that's <laughs> and not ho 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 Maybe she's Father Christmas? Who you knows? Away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. <laughs> I am the dumbest hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with Hi the princess. There. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Okay. That's she's so nice. coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You know, when it comes to dinosaurs and uh, Adam and Eve, what came first or whatever, I it's so off topic. But to bring it back to this, Adam and Eve, Eve was the reason the shit went haywire, so I don't trust uh, whether she's the most beautiful thing in the world or not. Fuck you that shit. You were kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yep. This is going to be a quick game, but I don't know what to expect. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. What do we do? We go forward? Uh, no, I don't want to talk. I want to go forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Can I kill her to can I kill her? Like will it be that easy? Oh, no talking then. Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Because the narrator says so. I... I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? <laughs> and if that knife is the only weapon you have, 
You'll have to get close enough to use it. Oh shit, she's gonna take it. Okay, so it's not that easy. Here we go. You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. What you ninja? She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Explore. There's literally an option at the end that says slay the princess. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not wrong? This cannot be this e that easy. Um, I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade. <laughs> I'm not dropping the blade. Drops the blade. Let's slay her. We're probably going to die or something. It can't be this easy. Wait, is there other options? Slay. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. And I you forget to flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Boom. Oh. This is it, isn't it? Probably not. I'm almost embarrassed. I she looks like she's a good coming. actress. But I have to wonder. What? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Mm. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Because she didn't go for the head. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. Okay. But is it over? Re of, uh, uh, of course it is. She's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was way too easy. I'm saying that was way too easy. Honestly. It's over. Don't get all worked up. I will. Don't tell me what to do. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Uh, no. I really don't think you should. No. Do no. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, yes. Yes. I've told don't. You everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Cool. Wait, what? You're right. She's dead. Let's just get out of here. Yes. Exactly. It's over. Is it? Are you telling me this was just this was literally like the quickest game ever? With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Okay. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Nah. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But yeah. that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Did I just open like make all the logic ready to return to a world saved from certain doom? Did I just make all the logic decisions and the game is just fifteen minutes? I'm Only confused. A world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. There we go. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago. The only thing in front of you now is the vast, vast emptiness, emptiness of some place far away. Come on, there's more to the story, I knew it. What happened? This is garbage-ish. What? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. I do not trust the freaking narrator. Because it sounds like the narrator is actually the princess. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I'd uh, get a better ending for saving the world. You went through... I went through the woods to find the cabin. Cabin in the woods. To slay a princess. What better ending did I expect? There was no parade, no people. So glad you're keeping an open mind. Okay, I forget to press this is what space for everyone. Trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time passes. It 
You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Why are we not leaving, by the way? Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy. We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea how to get us the heck out of here? Of course we are. I like it here. I don't, I don't want to stay in the cabin. You're probably not going to like it. The guy's British. You're probably not going to like it. Blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Oh my god, so I should have taken the blade out. So I have to go back to the princess, and she's probably not dead. Wait, this is the hero talking, not the narrator. Everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. There's only one thing. It. Who? What? What is it? The princess is dead. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. So I'm going mad. Don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? Anything to get out of this hell. You're right. I didn't like that idea. I'm just going to stick around and do nothing at least for a little while longer. Now, question. If I stay and do nothing for a little while longer, is the game just going to keep on going and we're going to be happy, happy, happy and it never ends? Because I feel like the game is kind of like directing us towards get the blade and then shit, shit just goes south. I mean, let's see. Anything to get out of this hell? Uh, wouldn't you use the blade? Uh, I want to get out, man. Thank you. Yeah. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An no. eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Hey! No need for name calling. Fine. Whatever. We're but going back down. It's fine. Stop this. meaning anything. Throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones. Though the oh wait, months past. Is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Oh my God, months past. I forgot. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Ex that's just what I said. This is what I chose. The end. Nice knowing you. Seriously. That was chapter one. That was chapter one. You're on a path. In oh, the it's woods. just uh, what? <laughs> What's happening? That path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a uh, okay, you're whatever. here to slay her. If you don't, it if will be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard! You're in for it now. Wise to your tricks. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Oh my god. This is Groundhog Day. We're doing this over and over again? Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I killed myself. What am I doing here? It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. So this is what's happening. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Okay. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Okay. Let's assume I'm telling the truth. Uh, and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Proceed to the cabin. Um. You know what? Let's go. Let's do a round of exploring. Those are two very different questions but fine i'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving yeah let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me or at least a version of me if you're back here i'm assuming you died which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me oh we listened to true. you plenty 
We slew the princess just like you asked us to, and then you locked us away in an empty void for eternity. So we slew ourselves, too. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me, because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not, I care about you. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. I'm so confused. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? It doesn't matter, because we didn't fail to slay her. And if she's really back, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us, maybe she's not the only one around here in need of slaying. Oh my god, I just re uh, realized the, the previous round when we were, you know what, uh, it was Voice of the Hero, now it's Voice of the Cold. Just stay focused, will you? Uh, brush it again. Oh, I should have picked, talk about the, the freaking princess. Yes, yes, yes. She will lie. She will she cheat. Be a problem. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Go in, get the knife. This is Groundhog Day, dude. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft it odor of changed? dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perch. The blade is your implement. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. And now it's Voice of the Hero again. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. So there's a Voice of the Hero, Voice of the Cold, and then the narrator. You didn't say anything about the mirror uh, on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. Approach the mirror. Take the blade into the basement. Uh, this whole cabin is different. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous second life proposition. You haven't died. You certainly haven't already slain the princess. So focus up. A lot of writing on this. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Uh, approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the... Look cabin. at my hand! What? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. Voice of the cold? Who's voice of the cold? Is that like the 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 princess? Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess. Uh, in the basement. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust. And you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room Whatever. Below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. I just heard like moving. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body, 
lying in a heap on the floor. See, we killed her. Still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of her head appears from underneath the floor. Oh God. Oh Two shit. Eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Just so by the way, this is why I wouldn't, this is why I do not play horror games. Cause honestly, <laughs> this shit just gave me goosebumps and it's just, it's not even, it's just a, whatever. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost Oh. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. This guy is no chill. Or What's is so chill. What's supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. Hiya. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Is she not changed? Chained. The, what? The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Bruh! Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again. Kinda cute. If we wanted to. How the hell are you gonna kill a ghost with a knife now? Are we gonna wait and see how things play out? Maybe waiting and all that stuff is actually the answer. Can I click on her? Uh. Save the princess! Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times we you pissed her off, no we pissed her off. Angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form. The skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're adorable when you're confused. Yeah, you not so much. But I didn't say you could touch me. It's starting. It's fucking starting. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? Testing a theory! Just like seeing if it's a holy knife, you never know. If I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I wouldn't have slain you. I died too, and I'm not floating, <laughs> floating around like you. Like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Uh, this one. You don't look dead, killer. <laughs> not a bad name. Princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. Please don't be a monster face that covers the whole screen. And you don't feel dead either. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. Okay. I'm less interested in why you are or how you are. And a lot more interested in what you are. Honey, me as well. Like, did you see my hand with the with the nails? I'm like Wolverine's brother. I tried to live on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. If even the spaces between walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. There's two voices. And there's gonna be a jump scare! I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. Shame. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. Oh shit, she's gonna get into our body. Isn't that a, a poltergeist or something? 
I fucking knew it. Bruh. She doesn't look scary. She well I've got goosebumps. But she looks old. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? Voice of the cold. We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. This is very persuasive. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. What if I say no? This would just be temporary, right? You'll leave once you were, we're out of the cabin. If, if I let you in, do I still get to be in control? Before I agree, before I agree to anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. I was told you'd end the world. Okay, she's just gonna lie. Sounds great? Do it. <laughs> uh, the answer is no. I need to think on this. Do I want to be possessed? Fuck it! My first playthrough, this is probably the wrong thing. Let's go. Possess us! Yeah. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. No shit, she's a ghost. She hasn't eaten. Thanks for the body, killer. Pleasure. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? See ya! She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. So she wasn't chained to the wall, I couldn't stab her. Dude, what makes you think that if I said no, she wouldn't just do it by herself, and then she's, it's forced. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? That's me saying it. Uh. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. Oh well, we'll just be reborn again. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Get up. You've still got a job to do. Oh, we have a job? Oh shit! I have her in my head! Kinda neat. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Yep. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't, or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Wait, what? Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Yeah, go on, finish the thought. What are you? I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Do you have to deal with this annoying bickering all the time? No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. The guy is clearly fucking loco. I'm clearly the same thing you are. A voice. Hopefully they'll all go away once we leave this place. I don't know how you can tolerate all of this noise. At least she reads, she speaks no, fast. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a 
memory than a person. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. That's because I'm in here with all of you. Wait, what? Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. Okay, all in favor to kick out the narrator at this point. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to manipulate everyone. Amen, sister. Or don't, actually. It doesn't really matter. Because you won't be around to do this for much longer. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Let me guess. Kill myself. Uh, I can't think straight. There's too much noise. Say the princess. Leave the basement. Fuck it, let's just kill ourselves again. Isn't that an interesting idea? I hadn't even considered it as an option. Slaying her would slay you. Are you sure you're willing to? Yes. Of course we're sure. The decision has already been made. Who can and sinked her? Get in me and then bail! Right then. Better uh, than ferrying her out of here. What do you think you're doing? Hear that? She's scared. No point wasting more time. Do it. This cold voice is creepy. You lift the blade. Kaching! Plunge it deep into your guts. Pain spreads quickly through your torso as you attempt to turn its edge up towards your heart. Wait, what? Did I got my stomach? No. The princess. Her spirit bound to your prison of flesh, as she had once been bound to the basement's prison of stone, cries out in agony as you slice through organ and muscle. Ooh. Is it really necessary to explain it that, like, your in detail? Your skin boils and bucks as she violently pushes against it from the inside. Bits of her seep through, white and glowing with ethereal light, but still the walls of your prison hold. Do it! Do it! Is this really what you wanted? Do you hate me so much that you would kill yourself just to deny me freedom? Question! Why Why are we killing the princess except for the game's name and the guy that told us to do it? Like, oh wait, she's a, she's like a maniac mind thing, yes, whatever. He would, because, because he, he knows, knows what's at stake. stake. And he knows what will happen if you leave this place. I'm not so sure about all of that. Don't be modest. You're a hero. Something tells me the narrator is the bad one. I just feel it. You think I'm going to stick around while you die? Hell no, I'm leaving. Bye, Felicia. You can try if you want. But I think this is an end for all of us. I like the the cold voice, like so chill. Let me out, let me out, let me out! And now you wanted to get in? You're in, baby. You're in. The princess's form continues struggling she to said. pull itself out of you. The effort is in vain. The princess form, form continues struggling to pull itself out of you. Dude, this, if this was like said the other way around. You collapse to your knees. Your Take on the words. spirit and destroy it uh, the only way you can. You collapse to your knees, your vision blurs, then uh, uh, starts to fade. Oh, I see the eyes. And then what happens? I think he's gone. Just like everything else. Are we dead? Yum. I don't know. I don't think so. This is different than it was last time. Oh shit. As the voices in your head debate amongst themselves, the form of the princess crawls from your body and into the vast nothing surrounding you. Do you think we're done? I stabbed you, you died. You're a ghost now. I let you possess me, I stabbed myself. You're out. So, what next? Do you? Bye, Felicia. But you do not get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away and left something else uh, in her stead. The mirror? She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Why? She's still in the cabin. Why is it here? Why now? 
I don't know I don't know where she went and I don't know how we even go about looking for her the narrator is gone I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror I'll just approach it I guess don't do this huh uh, the mirror never scared you before wait what the voice of the hero, I'm begging you don't do this. Who is, who's in charge? It, uh, it's different now. It feels, I don't know, final. Okay. Ignore him. You have to look. I'm so confused. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different, final. It's the final countdown. Ignore him. You have to look. Okay, let me look. The voices feel small distance as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. The body. It's you. Oh shit, is that how I look? I'm one ugly ass mofo. You're alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. That's cool. Oh. She's gone Super Saiyan. You. You are at the. Oh. I, th I thought it was saying you are the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. What up honey bun? Something finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift. Of a fragile vessel. What are you? The gift uh, of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Letter out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here. And I too yearn to be free. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, How can the world have ended if we are talking? I don't know. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm your average bruh. So I am solitary lights in an empty city. What do you mean? Thoughts without connection. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. A network? You got Wi-Fi? What do you think I... What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I am a person. Bruh, am I a person? Did you see me? Like, my nails. Uh. A person. A set of eyes witnessing from one perspective. I think that you are more like me. Then you are like a person. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. What? The gift of a, a fragile vessel let her out of there. Do you, you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! You are the only Why me? The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Do we know? Nah. She did just attack the entity, destroy your body. I don't think we can attack the entity. What happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us. And that we are meant to reach them. There are worlds beyond us and we are meant to reach them. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives. So that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. I'll just get that I'll find a way to kill you. How much will I forget? 
uh, how many more uh, pieces of you do I have to find? Is that how you kill the princess? You find pieces of her. Uh, I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. That is kind of true. Because one of the uh, laws of like uh, chemistry or something is like nothing, uh, energy or matter cannot be destroyed or whatever. It can just like be converted or changed. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? Let it be. Uh, uh, and what if I don't let you do this to me? Wait, how many pieces do you still need? More than you have found. No shit, Sherlock. To find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Cool. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Pretty morbid. How much will I forget and what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever. As we are now. Unfinished. Dry. I could have guessed hollow. that. Okay. Uh, whatever. She asks that I tell you to remember her. The only actual logical like voice in my head personally that I felt was actually her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. Hold up. Let's save. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna leave that at part one. What the fuck? I don't know if I'm like... Uh, I don't know if I'm if I lost a round. Or if this is supposed to happen. But anyway. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned for the next part, as I'm not sure what will happen. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit lost for words, I'm very confused. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like, comment, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.